you can actually get a really good finish on most timbers yeah. with a cabinet maker's bench plate yeah. utilising the adjustment of the frog yes. to give you the aperture that's required for that type of timber. Yeah. So if you're working on end grain for instance, I want to take a, a shaving across that end grain, yeah. then I would have the mouth set extremely tightly yeah. yeah. so that we don't get any breakout from the from the edge. And yeah. it's also supporting the fibres in front of the blade. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So would, and if we're using a jack vein for a lot of rapid removal of timber, we draw that back, back, take a bigger cut, maybe a bigger uh, camber or rein on the blade as well, depending on what you'd actually yes. paint with your blades and we can talk about that uh, in more detail later on the independent planes. Yeah. And that will give you the uh, disability. So, because it's in the channel, as we've said, it makes the plane so easy to adjust, or the mouth aperture so it's so easy to adjust. For, if, for instance, if we want to open that mouth Up. to take a, yeah. a, a you know, heavier shaving, heavy yeah. shaving Quickly just release the two clamping screws on the other side. Yep. That releases the blade and the frog. And then the centre screw, which is fastened to the frog, yep. if we move that either in or out. I could do with a thinner screw on this one, just pick this one up as we were talking. Right. We have one in the box. Yep. But that is, that's what you would need, just a, a narrow screwdriver. Yep. And that would open up the. Let's just get a screw back over there. Okay. Easier one to be using for that one, yeah. Be for the purpose. Yeah. So that one, we can now open the mouth. Yeah. The blade will be square to the stone sole still. Yeah. All we have to remember is, as you move the frog back, yeah, the blade comes back with it. Back up with it, yeah. So you have to put up some cut on. Yeah. If you move the frog forward to close the mouth up, the blade and comes forward. forward well. You have to take a bit of cut off. Okay. So, down two locking so screws, yeah. Just nip up the two locking screws, there's plenty of tension on those, and a, a little bit of cut, and then away you go. So it's very easy to adjust. Yeah. And something I would always recommend that you did, subject to what, you, what you're working on. Figured grey, again, nice and tight mouth, yeah. really sharp edge, and then you'll get uh, a good finish on that without yeah. tearing it. Yeah. yeah. If we are working very difficult timbers, ripple timbers, also what we can do, which I'll talk about later, is actually putting a back bevel on the front edge of the plane. I have in my own kit here the standard plane I use most of the time is my five and a half heavy jack plane and that's set up with a standard blade 25 grinding 30 kind of homing. This one here is number five jack plane of mine this one's actually got a back bevel on there and I'll talk about that so I'm playing very difficult timbers for this. There's actually one in here if you want to be so there, pretty made up here. Yeah. Here's one with a back bevel that I do. So we've got a conventional 25 degree grind yep. and we've got then a 10 degree back bevel. That increases it up to a 55 effective, effective, effective angle. cutting angle yep. and that gives it the ability to work on really open timbers. Yep. So it is a useful kit you quite right. So for that we have a spare blade or a spare plane. I tend to yes. know, like, if I pick up my number 5 I just know because I'm here all the time using it which exactly one should I got in there. Um, but otherwise the 45 degrees, the standard here, has been assessed really over the years by woodworkers as the standard and the most productive plane blade and angle to be using. And then we can specialise from that, depending on what we're looking yeah. to actually do at any one time. Great, I think we'll leave it there for the moment and then we'll come back and talk about the different sizes of the planes and the other ones within the range as well, mm -hmm. which are useful for the operations. Mm -hmm.